Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Kyle for InstaWP and today we'll be running through the awesome site tools from InstaWP that'll help you manage and create your sites with ease. And with that, let's hop right on in. First of all, to access this, make sure that you're logged into your InstaWP account. Once you're logged on, you'll be greeted by the InstaWP dashboard. From here, select the Hit More Actions button on the side of the site that you want to edit, and then click Tools. And from there, you'll be greeted by six site tools that will help your workflow become a breeze. Let's go over them one by one. So the first tool is the Database Editor. InstaWP's Database Editor is super user-friendly. It uses AdMiner for SQL management, making database editing straightforward. Just select Database Editor from the Tools list, and you're set to create and manage your SQL databases with ease. And here's AdMiner for this specific site. Next up, we have the View Logs. Keeping track of what's happening on your site is crucial. So with View Logs, you get Error, Access Command, and Debug Logs. This feature provides a comprehensive view of your site's activities, helping you stay informed and proactive. So to access that, go ahead and click Tools, View Logs, and a new pop-up window will appear, providing you with a few options wherein you can select which specific type of log you want to view, as well as a search bar to filter logs. So next up is the code editor. For the code editors out there, the code editor is an absolute gem. Choose between VS Code or Web Editor for direct editing of your WordPress source files. It's very flexible for your coding needs and you can access it directly through the InstaWP dashboard. With InstaWP's free plan, you're able to access the web editor which is a fully featured code editor and it'll open in a new tab and you'll be able to write and edit code for your built website. While for the paid users out there, you're able to code in VS Code, and just like the web-based code editor, it'll open up in a new tab, allowing you to get dirty in the code of your website. Next up, we have the Protect Site feature, wherein you can set a username and password for better security of your site. So to access this, click the More Options button, Tools, and from there, click Protect Site. A new dialog window will appear, prompting you to set a username and password for your site. And once you're all set, just click Save, you'll get a success message and your site will successfully have a username and password. So we can go ahead and test that by opening our site, you'll be greeted by a dialog box prompting you to sign in with the username and password. Next up, we have the site usage tool wherein you can monitor your site's database sizes. So with site usage, you can understand the data footprint of your WordPress site and you can ensure you manage your site's resources effectively. So once you access site usage from the tools drop-down list, a new pop-up window will appear on the right side and it'll provide you with details on the database usage of your site. And last up is my favorite. I think this is the most important site tool to have for all of the website builders out there. This is the install plugins tool. So to access this, same thing, just go down to the tools drop-down menu and click install plugins. So from here, you can easily add new plugins and themes from the WordPress repository. Just enter the slug from the WordPress repo. You can install either themes or plugins and InstaWP will handle the rest. If you're a paid user, you can also directly install a theme from a zip file by entering the zip URL. And that's a wrap on InstaWP site tools. These features are designed to help you and your team make your workflow more efficient. So now that you know them, go ahead and give them a shot. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more content like this. So once again, this is Kyle from InstaWP and I'll catch you in the next one.